Okay, so should you do Souls of Heroes? Yes, but you don't have to do it all in one sitting. I will say, if you do happen to do it in all in one sitting, which is, by the way, going from the renewed rare armor set all the way up to Magnificent, this will take you roughly eight to nine hours. About three hours for the renewed set to potentially five, six hours on your Majestic set. Now, there are ways to really cut the time down, but even with us cutting the time down, I wouldn't expect to get the Magnificent set in less than eight hours. But upon reaching the Magnificent set, there's a couple of things that happen. Number one, the armor upgrades to higher stat rolls when you meditate to that final set. All of the stats here are 60 plus, which I know doesn't sound that great to some of you that raid. The good thing about this is upon getting to the Magnificent set, when turning in Solstice packages, the increased drop rate for armor pieces go up substantially, or more specifically, more random rolls for Magnificent set pieces, and they are very high stats. Not all of them, but I was able to land a couple 60 plus even a 65 plus stat piece which is pretty amazing considering that this actually will not sunset until season 15 and on top of that you'll be able to use it immediately next season which already has a leg up on what they were trying to do with the Sosa's armor last year and then of course if you obtain the magnificent set and complete the final associated objective you'll obtain that white glow now this white glow looks pretty dang sexy guys I like the element of glows you can buy this from the eververse store for either 6,000 bright does and I think like what 1,500 silver you have to buy this on each one of your characters which is kind of a bummer but hands down if you don't want to spend any bright dust or silver the white glow to me looks better than all of this not only that the glows themselves increase with intensity as you gain more and more of your super energy which is almost blinding look at that so I get where some of you don't want to do this grind but like I said a second ago you don't have to do it all in one go but let me give you some tips that are going to make your life much much easier first up the obvious having a fire team definitely helps but more so than that if you can have fire team members that you can grind with and all of you happen to be on the same exact class you will have identical objectives now pretty much all these objectives coincide with one another so it's not like you're going to diverge that much and it wasn't until deep into the majestic set that i actually diverged from my own fire team to complete my own objectives but if you're wanted to stay together from start to finish hands down being on the same class would would definitely help that is of course if you got friends if you don't it's okay man it's all right dude you can do this solo but for real though you might want to make a few friends just for like the next day or so because it really does make this a lot easier now the renewed set is very much straightforward and pretty much all the objectives are self-explanatory in case you lose your way though and you're sitting there scratching your head wondering what the hell it is you're supposed to be doing all you have to do is inspect your armor and right underneath the name it will spell it out what exactly it wants you to do so take these greaves right here it wants me to defeat combatants with elemental damage which by the way is any elemental damage collect void orbs in any strike and defeat combatants with solar melee attacks so at any point if you're ever wondering what specifically is being asked of you because a lot of us just kind of like glance over our armor pieces in our inventory we see the number we see kind of what we're supposed to be doing but sometimes it has funky icons and we get a little lost so just look into your armor and it'll have more specifics on what it wants you to do now the renew set like i said very very simple to get through the majestic set this is when the grind really kicks up and this is going to apply honestly for the majestic set as well as the renewed set start with the grindiest thing from the top and work your way down so what i like to do is start with the things that require completions so for example gambit match completions strike completions adventure completions you want to start with those things because there's no way you can speed those things up and as you're doing those things that require completions be looking at some of your other objectives like if it wants you to spit out and collect void orbs rock a void based weapon get those void elemental kills drop yourself those void orbs and collect them as you go and again if you happen to all be rocking the same class you can rock similar weapons therefore you and your teammates are feeding yourselves those elemental orbs making this objective go by even faster now something i want to mention before we move on and this is actually more affiliated with the renewed set for those that are trying to do adventures i had some people come by and say that they weren't able to actually repeat adventures go to the flashback point this week it's mercury don't know what it's going to be next week go see brother vance do those adventures there you can also repeat them don't do the heroic because you're just trying to complete the dang thing if you want to do the heroic sure but i wouldn't suggest it so back to the majestic set probably the biggest grind out of all of this is doing 10 gambit matches yeah i know 10 gambit games what the hell again like i said you don't have to do this all in one sitting but look at what's on the rest of your objectives and proceed to do a few of the other things while you're doing gambit so i actually had to defeat guardians with 
arc weapons. So what I did was actually load out Soul Survivor, as well as a Thunderlord, proceeded to invade every single game. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to complete all of my Guardian kills with arc-based weapons, but I got a little over half. Now, getting those Guardian kills is probably going to be something annoying to many of you. You're probably like, man, really, Bungie? Not only do you want us to get Guardian kills, but it's got to be a specific elemental type of which you want us to get Guardian kills. I know how you feel, which is why the beautiful playlist Momentum Control is the playlist for you. 150 round per minute scout rifles are like the best to bring inside of Momentum Control because they can essentially one hit kill. So for me, I actually picked up the Cut and Run, which is an arc based 150 round per minute scout rifle, which as you see here is easily one tap in most guardians. I mean, mid resilience level guardians inside of Crucible. Now, say you're in a situation where you need solar based kills. No problem. If you're looking for another one tap scout rifle, Polaris Lance is the answer for you. And if you're looking for a void weapon to land you one hit kills inside of momentum graviton lance you've got options here guys and if you don't want to use those weapons you don't have to all i'm trying to say is that if you're trying to get those elemental kills hands down momentum control is the easiest place to get that done pick your favorite primary weapon and proceed to get kills another tip i would recommend an old thing that we used to do we even did it last year with the solstice event one of the requirements that we had was actually to grind out and collect orbs inside of strikes but at the same time kill 20 bosses but at the same time do public events luckily the majestic set didn't require strike completions here it just wants us to collect orbs inside of strikes so find you a strike that is connected to the world as it's not its own instance for example lake of shadows here this is a perfect strike for this because it opens up to the edz but you don't have to go in there to do the strike instead we just roamed about did public events all over the edz orbs were dropping for us constantly which was counting toward our strike completions and simultaneously all of the public events that we were doing the bosses that we were killing in those public events were counting toward those 20 boss kills completion hands down guys again this is like a little complicated the setup here because it's like you got to find the right strike and this is of course only really works if you got a fire team with you as you got to keep entering that strike playlist over and over again until you get the lucky draw but if you do this will make this so much easier for you i promise you guys this right here alone will easily trim off two three hours on your ground now the final thing on the majestic set that seemed to take the longest even after doing all of these things were actually elemental kills that's right just simple elemental kills which was roughly 2000 that it required was the final step that i needed to complete in order to get the magnificent set many ways you can do this guys les actually completed his inside of crucible as elemental kills there actually counted for five kills per one so a one to five ratio which i guess you could still just stay inside of momentum control and keep doing it there and there are some overlapping requirements like he was on warlock and it required him to get super kills on guardians but if you happen to be someone that just needs to get elemental kills and you just want to get it done in like 20 minutes load up either into shurichi or the whisper mission which is what i did right here head all the way down to the shadow throw rock bottom tree sunbreaker sit in the corner back here get a melee off it will proceed to drop a sunspot and this sunspot will last forever just stand in what happens is all the thrall are coming towards you they're just running at you over and over again every time one of them dies in this little pile it spawns another sunspot and another sunspot and another sunspot thus the cycle continues i went and made a sandwich took a bathroom break all that good stuff but essentially in about 15 minutes i completed about half of this objective almost half which is what i had left so it might take you longer might even take you two whisper missions to actually complete this objective if you're starting fresh but if you're starting from completions of gamut matches and public events and other things first and then work your way down down. By the time you get to this portion, you're pretty much on punch list items after this point. So guys, those are our suggestions for speeding up Sosas of Heroes for you. Is it worth doing? In my opinion, it actually is. Am I still a little sore from last year? Absolutely. But I also think that Bungie has really improved things here. The only other thing I don't like is the things like, you know, buying things from Eververse, the elemental glows, those things. It costs a lot of bright dust, and I know a lot of people don't have bright dust, but you can earn up to 3,000 bright dust per week. So there is ways to obtain it but hands down i would just suggest going after the magnificent set as that to me is just a better looking glow and again you can get the glow on other armor pieces and you can go ahead and complete it now say you just want to do pit of heresy or a nightmare hunt go right ahead you can obtain those white glows for those pieces and if you don't want to do trials so be it you don't have to do trials will your set look a little rough maybe but you're not going to be rocking a full set anyways i'm going to be rocking dune marchers or something like that with these white glow ornaments but i will say if you happen to do trials this weekend will probably be the best weekend to complete
complete the seven win objective. You're going to have a lot more people playing trials this coming up weekend who are trying to complete the Magnificent Set, which means the population there is going to be much fuller and less likely that you'll run into, you know, space astronauts, as we call them, aka cheaters, man. So guys, those are our tips. Let me know in the comments below if we missed anything. Again, just a recap, momentum control for your crucible base kills, stack your strike and public event grind together. Elemental kills are fantastic to do inside of either Shura Chi or the Whisper mission. And again, if you're a Sunbreaker, bottom tree hammers, take advantage of Sun Warrior and go make a sandwich. Fellas and ladies, thank you all for coming and watching. And as always, slap that like button like your mama told you right. Thank <laughs> you.